Ah, uh, back when the world only had two genders. Well, what's up, guys? Exhausted Panda here. Uh, I don't know. We'll look like this guy, I guess. Half orc, gnome, half Oh. Uh. Plus five open logs. I guess we'll be new. I don't know. this I'll stick with this.
going to go through light wounds. Appearance. Oh, we're going to be pink. Let's go. Why does my dude have a skirt? Feel my pop. Get over here. Let's give them a right thrashing. You got this coming! <laughs> Time for your life and death to you all. For justice. You know what? We're doing that. Name Panda. Why? Because of the YouTube channel. There we go. Story easy, normal, coral, hard, insane, legacy of Bob. Let's go story mode. You need to the top the cliffs that rise from the sword coast. The Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Alrighty. <coughs> Hello, child. Tutor. Shall we continue your lessons? No. Who are you? Hello there. Hi. Dear absent minded, whatever your name is. <laughs> That's great. Hello there. Hi. Can I attack the cows? No. Hello, child. Wait, Shall there's... we continue your lessons? Purple. Okay. I just wanna like, oh no, we're going this way, get out of my way. Hello. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I'm stuck on a wall. At once. Give me that gold.
Oh, I have, uh, 1,500 gold on me. Flock. No. Sleeping dwarf. Oh, wait. Can I punch him? Oh, well, let me talk to him. Touch me! I might catch something. It's locked. Away with you, beggar! Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. No time to chit chat. Oh, yes, Sterling, they are most standoffish. A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person such as yourself. Where do we even go? So lost right now, guys. I never played this game. <laughs> I should have joined the army. Okay, we're just exploring town, I guess. Ooh, 15 gold, I'll take it. I have a blade with you. I need help. Dangerous, eh? I showed you. Our first fight, we won. Our rules are very strict. Soon be gone, will ye? Sure. Uh. 
I ain't reading all that. At once. Something on your mind. But Our watch. rules are very strict. All right, where do we go now? What's in here? Oh boy. At once. No, you. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Huh, okay. Stuck on the wall. How do I bring up the map? Is there a map? I guess not. Why Moradin's hammer? I guess we're going to uh <laughs> clean out where <laughs> attack him. How'd you miss? Right! Yeah. What could I do to help? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Swing and a miss. At once. Run if you wish. You'll take an hour rest. No, I don't care about the cat. Looting everything I can. Buy Moradin's ham. Uh, yeah, five gold pieces. Woo! Where do I go from here? Help, guys! I never played this game before. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Okay. I definitely had to do more of this. Get in our character set up here. That's about all. I'm gonna end the video here though. Because basically, 
All I did was At once. got our character set up and just walked around and explored a little. I want to get Baldur's hey, yeah. Gate it's me, Emowyn. Uh, Greetings, young one. Wait, why did he walk up to me? Firebird head. Okay, the fancy head scheme. Oh, my child, I am glad I have oh. found you. Here we go. We're out. Listen carefully. We're going. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Can I? Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. Oh, yeah. For an old man, you know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Okay. Alrighty, guys. This has been Baldur's Gate 1, Part 1. Please leave a like, comment, sub. I would only learn more about it later.